before we get started, I just wanted to show you guys this new ant farm that I got in the mail. Whoa. No, it, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. See, what they do is they build these little colonies that are like miniature cities, uh -huh. and they have nurseries and storage chambers for food, even winter quarters. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, now, what is this little chamber right there? What's that one? I don't know. It looks like something's going on there. Yeah. No, but seriously, folks, you know, ever since I was a larva, my uh, folks wanted me to be an army ant. But the army wouldn't take me in. I had a uh, flat feet. Six of them. <laughs> yep, yep. Hey, any worker ants out here tonight, huh? Yeah, I see a few. You know, I was a worker ant once. I used to bring food back to the colony all day long. You know, bread crumbs, cracker crumbs, cake crumbs, up to 50 times my own body weight, huh? What a crummy job. <laughs> Huh? Thank you. Hey, we have got a beautiful show for you here tonight at the Ant Cabaret. And dinner is being chewed right now as we speak and will soon be regurgitated for your dining pleasure. So sit back, relax, and take a load off your gaster, huh? And please give a big round of applause to Bob and Goldswain. All right, Bob. How you doing, Bob? Good to see you. You look good. You look good. All right. Take it away. Well, thank you. Thank you. Did you ever wonder where a 500-pound ant in your sits? Where? Anywhere he wants to. Bread we ordered a donut crumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so me. I'll bring your order in a minute. Uh, excuse me, where's my order, huh? Hold on, I've only got six on. Oh. This is the worst date I have ever been on. All right, we're back, and our next guest comes to us direct from Hollywood. Now, she is the star of her own hit TV series on the Ant Channel. Please say hello to Roseanne. Bar, ladies and gentlemen, come on up here, Roseanne. Oh, yes. Looking very lovely this evening, Miss Roseanne. Oh. <laughs> Take it away. Hi, folks. You know, I just got back from the beauty salon. I said to the girl, can you make me look like Alyssa Milanto? She said, sure, lose a few pounds off your metasoma and we'll talk about it. <laughs> you know, you guys got it easy. Me? I gotta take care of the kids. 5,000 of them. Just tucking them in takes all night. And they're all a bunch of juvenile delinquents. They came home yesterday tracking in potato salad. It took me forever to lick up the floor. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You've been a wonderful audience. Oh, yeah. Roseanne Marley, you doing that? You're welcome, Roseanne. Thank you. You're looking lovely, huh? Yes. All right, now, just a few messages before we say goodnight. Whoever left their cake crumb outside, please remove it. You're blocking the entrance to the club. And please, be careful going home through Tunnel 46. There's an army of red ants on the loose. <laughs> Good night, and draw carefully, ladies and gentlemen. You've been beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. You're beautiful. Thank you. Hello. I'm Professor Lobotomy. The preceding comedy sketch contains several references to ant anatomy with which you may not have been familiar. For example, when Roseanne Barr suggested she should lose a few pounds off her metasoma, she was referring to this, her metasoma. When Bob Ant Goldthwait told the heckler to shut his mandible, he was referring to this, the ant's mandibles or mouth. But despite these factual references, the preceding sketch was indeed a work of fiction, for as we all know, Ants cannot get cabaret licenses. Thank goodness. <laughs> 